We don't live inside a black hole, but the universe could have been born in it. What the theory says? Welcome to the Space Diary channel. Before watching, I want to ask you to help our channel by liking and subscribing. What if our universe was formed inside the black hole of another universe? We don't live inside a black hole, but that doesn't rule out the possibility that our universe was born in one. American cosmologist Paul Sutter explains the hypothesis that our universe could have originated from a black hole singularity in another universe. How are our universe and black holes similar? Black holes have the strongest gravity, which means that nothing, not even light, can escape their boundaries. However, our universe has something in common with black holes. Black holes have an event horizon, i.e. a special invisible region, beyond which nothing, not even light, can return to space. This can only be done if you move at a speed that exceeds the speed of light. But this is impossible. Our universe has a cosmological event horizon, and it appeared due to the expansion of space. All galaxies are moving away from us at a high speed, and at a distance of about 14 billion light years. This speed exceeds the speed of light. But there is no violation of physical laws because it is not the galaxies themselves that are moving, but the space. However, it is impossible to reach galaxies that are farther away than 14 billion light years, even if there was such a possibility. The fact is that the space between the Earth and these galaxies is expanding at such a high speed that it will simply never be possible to reach them. That is, beyond the cosmological horizon of events, Space remains forever unknown to us. The universe and black holes are also united by the presence of a singularity. This is a point of infinite density, where gravity has completely compressed every piece of matter into an infinitesimal point. Black holes have a singularity in the center. And if you fall into a black hole by crossing the event horizon, you can find yourself in the singularity. Our universe also has a singularity, and it is called the Big Bang. Approximately 13 billion years ago, all the matter in our universe was compressed into an infinitesimal point and then expanded very quickly. Despite the above-mentioned similarities between our universe and a black hole, it still has its differences, and the point is the nature of the singularity. In a black hole, the singularity is located in a known place in space, but in the universe, the singularity cannot be found in space. It existed in time, in the distant past. The singularities of black holes in our universe have a completely different nature. Therefore, we cannot live inside a giant black hole, because the latter's singularity is not similar to the Big Bang singularity we still don't quite understand what happens at the center of a black hole. We lack the knowledge to understand the true nature of the singularity and attempts to find out what might be happening in the center of a black hole have led to the emergence of unusual theories. According to such theories, the black hole singularity is not an endpoint. Maybe it is just very compressed matter. On the smallest scales, Physics can be completely different and unfamiliar to us. The enormity of gravity, along with unknown physical forces, can lead to significant instabilities in the fabric of space-time. These instabilities can lead to the emergence of peculiar bubbles that are completely separated from the universe where the original black hole was located. These bubbles will have their own big bangs, their own expansions, and all the other evolution. Each of them will have its own universes. According to Sutter, this is a very unusual hypothesis because it turns out that our universe could have been formed inside a black hole, but of a different universe. But it is based on completely new physics. Given that we don't know enough about the nature of a singularity, we can't completely rule out this possibility. Was this video interesting for you? 
please share your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for more interesting videos.